You know him as Mike from Last Man Standing on ABC, as Tim the Toolman Taylor as Santa Claus, and as Buzz Lightyear. But we know him as the voice of the Pure Michigan campaign, and he's with us today. Hmm. Can you believe it's been 10 years? No, you, as soon as you said that, we were talking earlier about this, I, I really feel like I've got health problems now. As soon as you said <laughs> 10 years, because these things go by, and I said, I, along with other things, my, my show, Last Man Standing, turned around, and all of a sudden we've We've been on for five years. This I know. Is, this is astounding. Well, you know, you think about it. It is hard to believe. Ten years of the Pure Michigan campaign. And when we started this, our goal, at least outwardly our goal, was let's encourage people to come to Michigan. Right. To see, you know, the beautiful natu natural surroundings of Michigan, the unique experiences they can have, the authentic destinations, the friendly people they can meet and all that. But deep down, our goal was really just as much to kind of engender a sense of pride in Michigan. We were in bad shape back then. And this campaign has really made a difference and you helped to do that. Yeah, I, I would love to take credit because that's the type of guy I am, but it really has, this is all about the creative. This had very little to do with, I would have done this as Buzz Lightyear if I hadn't been uh, coached by a great director to, to do this in a very different way. And I said, the creative was wonderful. About a year after we started the campaign, we recorded some media people, just some people on the street, and you, and we asked them, what does Pure Michigan mean to you? And I'll never forget what you said. You may not remember, but, but what you said was um, pretty, pretty emotional, really. You said it's the people. You said, what, what is Pure Michigan to me? It's the people. And then they're the ones that really make this state go. I was just struck by that comment. If you want stuff done, redone, there's no place better than Michigan. And it's just a resiliency. I think a real accepting group of people. I said that we've been through a bunch of stuff. And once again, I've said, it's hard to describe what a population does. We have a huge population. We're not a small state. It's a very diverse state. Well, and you know, every, every state has a story to tell, a great exactly. place to visit and all that. And we want people to travel all over the world because... No, we don't. We do. No, you you know, we just want our fair share of the business. Exactly. You know. Well, you th when you think about, especially for the surrounding states, a two-hour drive, and you're at, at, I hate to always push the beach communities, but Grand Haven, South Haven, mm -hmm. these are remarkably beautiful spots. Yeah, they are. You know, and you you travel up that, the west coast of Michigan, it, and I've only done some of it. I boated down. My brother lives in Muskegon, and that whole trip, Frankfurt and uh, Franken, well, Franken with the others, but Frankfurt, where, where'd this place come from? And go up the, the East Coast. There's some, and Michigan did this harbor remodel mm -hmm. where you have all these beautiful harbors up there. If you're lucky enough or fortunate enough to get a boat or charter a boat, it's nothing but exploration on this. It's it's a fantastic. It's better than the Keys. It's better than people go on the East Coast. You gotta, you gotta see Martha's Vineyard or the Hamptons. I go, yeah, it's good, but you gotta see this. This is freshwater version of that. And it's, it, it's at least on par with some of this stuff, and I think it's, it, it, it's so much boating in this state. 11,000 inland lakes. We touch on four of the five Great Lakes. You know, right. more than five miles away from a major lake or stream. It is a, it's an awesome place. There's, there's no doubt about it. You were um, interviewed in Ad Age a few years ago, and uh, this was something that also stuck with me. And, and again, you've done all these things. You look at all these projects, all these things you've done over the years in your career, from stand-up to acting everything and you were asked you know how you felt about this pure michigan campaign and if i remember it right you said this is the thing that you're most proud of in your career well i, I for a variety of reasons the i, I like the fact that I, my part of this has had an impact believe me it's the writing and the production it has very little to do with me and i mean that but i've been challenged to be a different kind of performer and no one it, it just it was innocence was bliss i'm going what the you want me to do it again you know i thought i'd drill this out and get it it was for the state of michigan i said and it was but i've been required to be a different person and trust in a different so as the performer this pushed a lot of things in me that i never thought i could i i, I grew up around ron rose studios and always wanted to be a voiceover talent and some of the best were in detroit I mean, the voiceover talent has a real specific skill set, uh -huh. and I never got there. And it wasn't until I was challenged to do this outside of my comfort zone, just read it and find out. It, and I had that skill set, and this has changed 
how I do Buzz Lightyear a little bit, certainly how I did. I was Campbell Soup for a while, General Motors, and how I read stuff. And I really like the voice business, always have really enjoy, enjoyed it. So this, it made a huge impact in my professional life and somewhat my personal life because now my family listens to me because I go, you know, if we could all just eat dinner and enjoy it. <laughs> it <laughs> doing voiceovers with my wife. How about you and I just slip into a bathtub? <laughs> and, and and that works? No, not really. I was going to say. <laughs> try, Unless try you it. clean it up. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. You know, I, I think that uh, people who are serious, uh, most people, if if you will ask them what they really think the, the definition of success is, it's that they've made a difference. And you've made a difference. You really have for this state. No, oh, I just want to thank you for doing that. I, you know, it's been my pleasure. And I just, I said, the more we discover, the more the state gets tweaked out. I said, that's all I like, the, the, the freeways and the, with the harbors, especially. I'm a big boater. And I, you ought to see the harbors on the, all around Michigan, what they've done up in Northport. They redid it. They found the money. They did it right. It, it, it's, it's a remarkable state to visit. It's a remarkable state to visit. You're going to ask for a raise now, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can tell. Thank you, Tim. You bet, man. Appreciate it. Get out. <laughs> all right, bring the people from Ohio in. <laughs>